Good afternoon and welcome to State News File. I'm Kami Marayag. Tommy Osborne will have a look at all the highlights later in the show. What can we expect, Tommy? We have some really exciting but probably unexpected Trojans news coming up. Oh, I can't wait. Stacy Hine has apparently been deceived by the weather today. How does it feel to be fooled, Stacy? Thanks, Stacy. Now here's a look at today's top stories. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has entered its third week, and more than 2 million refugees from Ukraine have fled to different parts of Europe. Russian forces continue to bombard major cities despite the agreed-upon ceasefire. Thousands of people have been suffering from shortages of food, medicine, heat and electricity. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau met with the President of Poland earlier today to discuss what both countries can do to help Ukraine. Canada is going to be welcoming Ukrainians uh, to our country, so we've actually uh, uh, provided an additional funding of $117 million to support special immigration measures, uh, including accelerating uh, the treatment of files uh, so that we can get Ukrainians fleeing for their lives to Canada. Other efforts include adding a $20 million donation to Red Cross and a $50 million contribution to humanitarian aid for the Ukrainian crisis. Crude oil has dropped, but gas prices continue to be at an all-time high. The record-breaking prices are primarily because of the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine, causing uncertainty in supply. The Alberta government has announced the removal of the provincial gas tax starting April 1st to help keep prices at bay. Some analysts are predicting prices will drop tomorrow following the slight recovery of the Canadian dollar and correction of oil prices. Regular grade fuel in Calgary has seen a price of 172.3 cents per litre today, while premium grade fuel is at 199.9 cents per litre. The WTI has dropped to $108.7 from $123 per barrel. This is said to be the most significant drop in oil prices since late November. And it's not just rising fuel prices worrying many Calgarians. Some commuters say they don't feel safe on trains because of people abusing the use of drugs and alcohol. Ridership is at 45% of what it used to be prior to the pandemic times. But as Elena Bender reports, this is not just a safety issue. Not as safe as Former Premier of Quebec Jean Charest will be in Calgary tonight to formally launch his campaign for leadership of the Conservative Party. Charest has been in politics for years, leading the federal Progressive Conservative Party from 1993 to 1998 and becoming Quebec's premier in 2003. His slogan, Built to Win, is said to be a message that focuses on both his political experience and how he is the right man for the job. Charest will be at the Wild Rose Brewery at 7 o'clock. Prospective students have now started the process of choosing which post-secondary institution will help further their education for a future career. State will host its open house next week once again in an online format. As Gates Guarin reports, recruiting new students is one click away. The Get Involved Expo wrapped up today after three days of the in-person event. The Expo is a chance for student clubs, along with other organizations and resources on campus, to come out and engage with students. Megan Cobb joins us live from the Irene Lewis Atrium, where she has been following the story. Megan, what can you tell us? Thanks, Megan. That was Megan Cobb reporting live from the Irene Lewis Atrium building. Tax season is here again, and SATSA has your back. And this time around, it's face-to-face. Students can drop by the Peer Support Center with their info to get help. And as Eric Bird reports, filing taxes doesn't have to be stressful. Those are today's top stories. We'll have your full forecast after the break with Stacey Hine. But first, Drew Stremick has a look at what's going on around Calgary this week. Welcome back to State News File. Tommy Osborne joins us now for a look at the latest highlights. So what can we expect, Tommy? Got a lot going on in the pro sports world, but let's start a little bit more local with our Trojans. It's interesting that esports is gaining momentum now, right? That's my type of sport. Same here. Gotta love esports. After the break, Drew Stremick will have a look at what's the latest in the world of entertainment. Stay with us. Things are picking up around Calgary with new events being scheduled every week. Our very own Drew Stremick is in the newsroom to give us the latest scoop. Drew, what exciting things are going on around the city? 
Back to you, Cammie. Thanks, Drew. I can't wait to binge the Obi-Wan series. Gardening and keeping plants is a popular hobby, and almost everyone has houseplants. But what benefits can this hobby have aside from beautifying a space? And how exactly does one keep their plants from dying? Addie and Vandenberg has the answers. Don't you love gardening? I do. In fact, our family, we grow a lot of our own basil. Right. And that's it for State News File. We'll see you next week.